everyone and welcome back to Fresh Fit and Healthy YouTube. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, but I apologize. I apologize for being MIA these last couple months and not posting any new videos and just leaving you guys hanging and not have intuitive eating principle number 10, the last one up. So life got crazy, life got hectic. I apologize. But let's get to the last intuitive eating principle of this series, honoring your health. Now this principle brings everything that we've been learning throughout the last nine videos and just culminates it to honoring your health, you know, letting yourself eat what you want, letting yourself taste it and just honoring your taste buds, you know, don't make yourself eat something that doesn't taste good to you just because you think it's healthy and you have to, you know. Make nutritious decisions, but make them based on the fact that when you eat a ton of pizza every single day of your life, you're not going to feel good. Or, you know, I love eating cookies and I'm going to have one or two, but I know that more than that is not going to make me feel good, so I'm not going to do it. Make decisions based on how things make you feel, and that is honoring your health. Honoring your taste buds and allowing yourself those foods that you love, but just also enjoying them in moderation and making nutritious decisions for the most part just because that's what makes you feel good. That's what makes you feel alive. That's what makes you feel active and want to get outside. You know, this video just brings it all together. And you know, it's not easy to do this. It's it's, it takes time and it takes just practicing of allowing yourself those foods again like we've talked in past videos. You just have to start becoming in tune with your body and just listening to those hunger signals, listening to those full signals and listening to how things make you feel. Like instead of saying I'm not going to eat that food because it's not healthy, say you're not going to eat that food because it doesn't make you feel good. Or say I'm only going to have it in moderation and I'm going to only have one slice of cake because I know when I have five slices of cake it might taste good at the moment but then I feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> so, and someone made a really good um, comment in one of the past videos and it was talking about how sometimes in order to get to this point you almost go through a binging stage. If you've been restricting for a really long time, sometimes to allow yourself those foods without any limitations makes you overeat them at first. But let me tell you guys, it's such a short period if this does happen because at the end of the day, very quickly you're going to be like, wow, that cake, all those cookies are always going to be there. I don't have to eat all 10 of them at once. I don't have to eat the whole cake at once. I don't have to eat pizza every single day of my life because it's always going to be there and I know that eating that much makes me feel sick. <laughs> So even if you do feel like you're allowing yourself to eat too much at first, it's okay because as soon as you start getting in tune with your body and in tune with how things make you feel, you'll start honoring your health in a whole new way. So I'm excited because I'm actually going to be creating some awesome supplements for you guys as I end my master's program here and only have my internship left because then I'll have a lot more free time and I'm going to be creating some online courses for you guys if you guys are interested in that. So I just want to know as I begin creating all these materials for you guys with recovery and with learning how to intuitively eat and how to ditch the diet mentality, I want to know what your guys' burning questions are in the comments below. I want to know what specific questions you have for me, what specific questions you want answered, what, what would you love to see in a course that you would you know, benefit from? Like, what are you looking for? What results are you looking for? What steps are you looking for? What how-tos are you looking for? So I'm excited because starting in December, guys, I'm going full in with all of this and expect a lot of new videos from me, a lot of new materials, a lot of just really fun, exciting things. And of course, I share my entire story in a book I just published this summer called Chasing Freedom. So that is linked down below if you think that that could help you because I know just reading other people's stories can be really inspiring to help your own. And it talks about how I found freedom myself. And then also down below is a link 
to sign up your email because as soon as all these materials and courses are available that I'm talking about, I'm going to send out an email telling you all about them. So I don't want you guys to miss that. Don't worry, signing up your email is not gonna give you my weekly blog post. You're not going on that list, don't worry. You're not signing up for anything except for just being notified when other materials along with intuitive eating and recovery come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I apologize for being MIA. School got crazy. I had two internships simultaneously along with my master's program. But don't worry, I'm back and I just can't wait to share so much more with you guys throughout these next couple months. So like I said, comment below your burning questions, what you want to see answered, what you need help with the most. And yeah. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good day.